I will say that the that I feel like in our relationship, the the longer that I'm with you, the more that I like you. I'm still like getting to know you, like figuring you out, like all that stuff. But I would say that it's getting better and better. I'm really glad that I made the choice to actually she made the choice, but or we made the choice. We made the choice. We made the choice. But just, you know, to say like I'm I, I actually think that it's getting better and we're growing together more and more. Happy yeah. anniversary. Happy anniversary. In the future. <laughs> I'm Summer. And I'm Mike. And we got married with children. It's been 12 years since we got this gang together. And we're still running the rapids of living with a blended family. And sometimes that is just not easy. If you're looking for support and tools when it comes to divorce, step parenting, co parenting, and giving it your best, you're in the right place. We're talking about everything. You ready to get this party started? Always. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Everything Always. (laughs) Guess what today is? Uh, Today is almost our anniversary. But those who are listening, today is our anniversary. Oh, you mean because we're recording this a day before? Because we're recording this, well, it's days before, but... Today, for those of you listening, marks the first day of July. Baby, happy anniversary. Happy See, anniversary. Like <gasps> like always, I'm the first to remember and I'm always the first to say it. <laughs> really? So, yeah, probably actually. That's probably true. It's almost, it's, it's, this is almost like we're going forward in time. It's also the first day of the third quarter of the year. Is that right? July 1st? Yeah. Yeah. It's also my favorite month. July. It's also your birthday month. It's my birthday month. We've got Independence Day. I We've love got fireworks. Summertime, fireworks, swimming. Summer is really, really fun. It's it's my uh, yeah, name. Yeah, summertime. It's your name. That's true. That's true. I love summer, but something happens right around the end of August, beginning of like September, where I'm like, okay, I'm tired of being hot. I'm ready for winter. And then winter comes. Well, first it's fall, which I oh, just love we live in fall. San Diego. We just skip right over fall and go straight to winter. I love going to the places that really look like fall, like Boston. Well, it's true; those places are amazing in the fall. Like all the leaves are changing and everything else. But here in San Diego, I, I feel like we have two seasons: that's true, summer and winter. And sometimes it's just summer. <laughs> Sorry for all of you in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> true. So today, um, we have no format for today. It's just Mike and Summer coming at you, talking to you about our last, how many years have we been married? Four years, baby. Four Four years. years. Do you remember the year that we met? Oh man, I don't know. 2008. Uh, Really? Yeah. That's too long. It was like, yeah. That's, that's a long time a long ago. Time. I'm not Chloe, that. I'm Chloe not possibly like, that old. Chloe was like a year and a half. She was still in diapers. That's how long. That is crazy. And now she's like an adult going <laughs> off to freaking. She's 14 college. now. We've got two 16 year olds. We've we've come we've come a long way in these these <laughs> past years. Yeah, a lot of different things. I'm gonna just shoot off some questions because oh um, I like to put you. On the spot. On the spot. Let's do it. And and you have no idea what we're going to be talking about. At the same time, you could put me on the spot, which I totally love. She's them. so much better at being put on the spot than me that it's uh, it's almost not fair. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say has been the biggest difference of being married as opposed to those what? what is that, 12, almost 13 years? I can't do the math right now. Of probably 12 going on 13, something like that. Is that right? Of us being together. So there was a good, you know, I think it was seven years before. Yeah, we were together for a long time before we got married. Yeah, before we got yeah. engaged. So what do you, what would you say was is the biggest difference that you feel from being married and when we were blending as a family, but not officially married. I feel like when we weren't officially married, I was substantially uh, more better looking. (laughs) (laughs) Because I always felt like, I'm like, okay, well, 
you know, I better, I better work out, do my hair, you know, like whatever, just because there's, there's no, there's no law. Are you going to get a perm? I'm never going to get a perm. Dang it. That's not a thing. I'm relying on that. <laughs> oh, wow. So. I can only imagine. I happen to think you're ridiculously good looking. I actually think that you get better looking as you get older because you get those little like. And taller. Grays I've, on the side. Women think like the gray, the gray parts and the chest hair and the, the sides of the ears. It's, it's pretty sexy. So here's the deal. I'm getting gray hair. I've been terrible about working out because I've been so busy at work. I, I, that's, that's, that's such an excuse. It is such You've a cop-out. always been busy at work. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> I just, I get home and I'm like, should I work out? But you're out? not even answering the question. Okay, you kind of answered the question. So the, the biggest difference is that you used to work out and care about oh, your I'm, looks and now you're married and you're like, I landed her, that's it? What are you I, trying to that say? Was, that was what I was joking at. <laughs> That is what I was joking at. No, I'm just kidding. Let's see. What the ma- you know what? Honestly, I don't know if there were significant major changes between like when we actually got married legally or before that when we were like fully together. So I will say that the that I feel like in our relationship, the the longer that I'm with you, the more that I like you. I'm still like getting to know you, like figuring you out, like all that stuff. But I would say that it's getting better and better. I'm really glad that I made the choice to, actually she made the choice, but, or we made the choice. We made the choice. We made the choice. But just, you know, to say like, I'm, I, I actually think that it's getting better and we're growing together more and more. Happy yeah. anniversary. Happy anniversary. In the future. <laughs> I definitely think that that we've been through a lot of really amazing experiences. I also think that we've been through some really tough as hell experiences. Yeah, and we've talked about a lot of that stuff. We right? have, we have some stuff. And we've been doing this podcast for a long time. Yeah, the thing is, is like years. when we first started doing it, the things that we were dealing with in our lives back then are totally the opposite things that we're dealing with now. Yeah, it, it, it's just it different changes. stuff, right? Yeah. And relationships with siblings have changed, dynamics in terms of, you know, our family and like who's connected to who and what's what. And yep. like we call it our little family cliques. Yep. Th- those have changed and, and the the struggles that we have are different now, you know, than, than they were then. So I yeah. would say like, f- you know, for all the people that are like, this really sucks and I'm having such a hard time, well, keep in mind. The things that are really hard now may still be there, but you'll have other hard things later too. And some of those things or might not be things. there. It'll be something yeah. different. You'll have periods where maybe you're not sh- being challenged with anything or you're not struggling and then times that you completely are. Um, that's, I mean, that's that's been the case for us. There's so many different things that, that, come, that come into play with what you're struggling with that may yeah. just be, you know, re- that happens in any kind of family. True. I do think that those things have brought us closer. And I know like for myself, I would worry that certain challenges and struggles could be the thing that make us not work. I've worried about that in the past. I remember that, especially in the early years. And you hear people say, oh, we've been through all these hard things and it brought us closer together. It made us stronger. You don't really know what that looks like until you experience it. And I feel like we've experienced that so many times that it's it's pretty cool to go, wow, the, our love has grown deeper and yeah. stronger. It's there's, there's less of a wall going up when we are struggling with things because I think it's natural when people struggle. You put a wall up to certain people in, in your life and sometimes it's the people that you're closest to. And I feel yeah. like we've broke down a lot of those as new things come, come into our life. And I'm, I feel really proud of that. And well, I, that's right. Adversity makes you stronger and it makes you learn how certain things are going to be dealt with and categorized and handled and with that those experiences you get stronger for sure yeah hey by the way this just popped up if you're ever interested in how we even met (laughs) or came it came together what our whole story is we have a whole episode on that i think it's like 
one of our very first episodes, maybe it's two or three, but it's called The Story of Us. And that was at the very beginning of our podcast, which I believe we started in back in 2018. It's a really interesting story of the shark attack where I saved Summer. <laughs> And she was she Man. was she was swimming and yeah it puts whole new meaning to all these bite scars that I have all over my <laughs> legs bite scars <laughs> yeah so listen to the episode it's actually amazing it's a it's a very uh, heroic story and obviously she had no choice but to fall for me after I saved her from that great white here in San Diego yeah <laughs> Donna 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 mm-hmm. all right we're dumb <laughs> uh, well you are. Hey guys, did you know that you can text us now? Like if you want to be the first to know if we're going live or just launched a new episode, or maybe that we just went out on a date or had a fight, who's right, who's wrong. Maybe we ate too much for dinner or missed a workout. No, seriously, we want to share more of what's going on in our lives. And we want to make sure that you don't miss out on anything new. So send a quick hello to 760 389 Three seven two two, and let's stay connected. All right, back to the show. Well, what I, feel are, like, I feel like I should ask you a question now. Okay, ask me a question. Let's see. What would be a good question for summer? I, if I knew that we were doing questions, I would have thought of a good one. But that was the whole thing. We literally just said, "All right, let's just record this." This is our our next episode happens to land on our anniversary. Totally. So let's just do it impromptu no format no preparation boom so here's a question okay we so as a family we're pretty i would like to think that we're pretty fun right we do family trips and we try to always you know create memories and have um activities that kind of gets everybody involved you know both summer and i um other than you know this podcast we actually do other things and that's how we, you know, make money to mm-hmm. afford to pay for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but <clears throat> good point. Yeah, brought to you by SeaWorld. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by SeaWorld. I'm going to send them an invoice, <laughs> and maybe they will pay it. You're welcome, SeaWorld. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's 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 think back. What is what is our what is your favorite family activity that we've done out of all the things? Oh my gosh. You only get to pick one. And it doesn't mean that it's the only one, but what's your favorite one? So recently, oh my gosh, I am thinking of like a number of different things, but it's this is actually kind of an unfair question because now I'm flipping back to when the kids were super little like I know. camping. Can I, like boat camping. Well, but that's I've what also I was going to say. Some of my favorite, I'll, I'll tell you like, I can tell you a recent favorite one that I really enjoyed was all of us together, which was probably this last August, maybe something Lake, like that. Lake Mead? Where we actually had all four kids together, which is hard to do I feel like with everyone's getting old, everyone's older and doing their own thing. Activities. Some just things, don't want to yeah. hang out with us anymore. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. just, but like, it was so awesome with all of us together. And my favorite trips that, that makes me super excited about summertime, especially is being out on the water with all of us with no cell phone <laughs> access that's that and actually just, makes it extra good it's so good and it's just music playing it's like um jumping off rocks it's talking about stories it's being super exhausted at the end of the day going out to dinner and sharing funny memories and we go around the table and each talk about it mm-hmm. and those moments when everybody is um disconnected but so connected to each other it just, it makes you feel so warm and fuzzy and it makes you feel, it kind of like puts, it puts perspective on all the things that we have gone through and makes you realize like, even with the hard moments, there's all of this good stuff that we can all reflect on and has been super impactful. And it helps you realize too, that even if there's something that you're going through right now, that those moments are still to come, even if it doesn't feel like it. And And I'm saying that specifically for people because I got to say, like, especially through COVID, there's been a lot of people going through hard stuff. And yes, things are opening up now, but there's there's been some stuff that you went through through those periods of time. And there's stuff that you go through as kids 
become teenagers and um, your dynamic changes from, you know, say, step parent to step kid as, oh, we used to be so close, you were younger. Well, now you're older, doing your own thing, or you, you know, I don't know. Those are the things that I'm hearing and I relate to maybe not specific incidents, but I relate to those feelings and I know, I know what you're feeling. And the moments that you can, if you can make it happen, all come together is really awesome. And sometimes now, like, I feel like we, maybe sometimes we only get two together. Maybe we can get three of our kids together. We've got a camping trip coming up that's that's going to be awesome and I'm super excited about because it's it's getting us together and, and disconnected from our normal day-to-day -day routine day -to -day and stuff. life and all that stuff just so. to go disconnect for a little while and yeah. go go do something. So I've long been answer. trying to strategically pick places where there's no internet. Yeah. <laughs> well, because we're guilty of it too. It's not just our kids. That's I right. think I mean there's times even our kids are just like like they want us to disconnect. So, I think it's it's all of us that are responsible. We're not like going, "Oh, yeah, we we make a no phone rule and then <laughs> we did a really good job of that on a trip recently to Big Bear where we we did stay pretty. We were playing games. We yeah, were hiking. We, had such a we great were pretty discount. We had like a short period in the morning and at night. It wasn't night. like nobody could have their phones. Like people could check their messages or whatever. Yeah, but, it but didn't we made, seem it was like... very. It was limited, and nobody nobody was upset about that because I think as kids get older, they see the value in that too. I feel like they were upset more about the fact that I'm so darn good at Uno. Yeah, that was disappointing. But <laughs> <laughs> you didn't win, though. I didn't win. You did not win. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question, and then I feel like we're going to wrap up. Good. Let's do it. Now I have to come up with a question. I didn't even have a good question. No, that was a good question. Our favorite. I think that was good. My question to you is, and, you know, we've, we've been married for four years now. Mm -hmm. For couples that are just getting married and going, you know, starting their blended family, maybe just moving in together for the first time, what would be your biggest piece of advice that you have learned in our situation to push through when, when times are hard? Like, what is the thing that, get, that, that makes you go this is worth it, I'm pushing through, or makes you never, you know, I, I'm not wording it right, but I think you know where I'm going with it. Like if people that are just getting like, okay, we're about to get married, I'm in a blended family, or I'm considering it, or this, or that, like what's the piece of advice that you would take from us? And I got it. I okay. Got it. Okay, so this is, this is the thing for me. I would say don't forget to focus on your relationship. Hmm. Make it a priority. Then what's that saying where they say like the things that you water will grow, right? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people will understand that, right? You know, people can grow apart if you don't focus on spending dedicated time, quality time. People grow, right? This life's about learning and growing and changing and all of those things. And if you're doing it independent, you'll you'll potentially grow apart. So for me, it's like dedicated time, scheduled things so that you actually can connect right do things you know find a common thing that you like find common interests do things together because if your relationship is a priority you got to give it some focus like anything else things without attention or focus will fade or break i will say you always make me feel like a priority and it's pretty easy because you are you're the first person I want to celebrate with when something is amazing or something really awesome happens. You're also the first person I want to talk to when something really crappy happens and I've had a bad uh -huh. day. And I'm so grateful to you. Uh, baby, I feel the same way. I love being married to you. I love I get, that I get to call you my husband. And I love that it's weird that I keep loving you more and more each day. Oh my gosh, you're too sweet. But Stop. it's true. And <laughs> and I'm excited and uh, I really love that our kids get to see that because I know they think we're super goofballs, but well, I hope that we're being I, good good influences and, and models for them. I know that we show an incredible amount of love to each other and I'm excited to keep doing that. I do love you. Girl, oh, that's very sweet. I love you too. 
Well, on that note, let's go to a Padre game. We're going to a Padres game. <laughs> That's why we got to finish this up. That's right why now. we got to go. We're late. Baby, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Let's give a loud, juicy kiss right into the microphone. <laughs> All right, Bye. guys. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. And we like to say, if you enjoyed this episode, share it with someone you love and be bold enough to share it with someone you don't. See you next time.